Welcome back. G'day mates. What have we got going on here? Oh no, my thing just went off. What are I'm, you trying to do? I need 80 grams of butter. Do you know how to set it to zero? Yes. And I was one gram short. Ah, oh, yes. Look, 80 grams. Boom. What happens next? I don't know. You just, I, I just <laughs> have to get 80 grams of butter. Do you not even look at our own episodes where we say <laughs> read ahead on a recipe? <laughs> You're not a very good example right now. There's, I don't have alcohol. You don't need it right now. Well, I do, because how am I supposed to make this? Well, because you're struggling with these steps. I'm worried about if we <laughs> make it harder. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It says grease and line a 22 by 32 slice tin. I'm not sure if that's the right one, but looks this pretty is good. what I did. It, looks, it might not be exactly the right size, but it'll do for our purposes. Crush biscuits and place the crumbs into a bowl. I have a bowl, but how do I crush the biscuits? Use like a mortar and pestle style thing. I don't know. What do we got? I don't know. We don't really have that. It's a very messy drawer. Do I just put it in one of those big snap lock bags again, or will there be holes in it and it'll go everywhere? No, that should do. That'll work. Yeah, I'll grab one of those. Can you show everyone what a Mari or Mary or however you say it biscuit looks? Oh, yeah. Now, what do you do? true spirit of this. I mean, it is feeds for fuck all, so we're not going to bother using a KitchenAid, we're just going to use our hands. We don't own a KitchenAid. We can't afford one. <laughs> Should I put something under this in case all of the biscuits, remember that time that you made me make that cake and the biscuits pierced through the bag? It's up to you. You're the, you're the boss. I don't know, but it sounds violent. We'll be back in five minutes. You missed a bit. <laughs> You're not filming this bit. Why don't we have one of those things that just mix these automatically without me needing to do a workout? Good. It looks like they're sufficiently crushed. Well, we've got to get them out of this thing first yeah. without, like... That should be the least of your worries. Getting them everywhere. Baking is basically like exercising. <laughs> Except at the end, you're not fitter, you're just fatter. <laughs> Something like that. So what's happening now? Um, one cup of desiccated coconut goes into this mixing thing of crushed bickies. Are you going to have enough? Yeah. That's good. And then, um, it says lemon zest. How much? It just says lemon zest. It says add it and then grated lemon rind and mix to combine. I watched another cooking show and they said you should do this before you do it, apparently. What does that do? I don't know. <laughs> How's your rind technique? Well, it's probably terrible. What's your fingers? This is from our tree. Is this a lemonade and not a lemon? It's a lemonade because we don't have any lemons left. Does this mean it's going to be sweeter or what's... What's the well, not, not really when you use zest. It's just going to add a little bit of a tangy flavour. Is that enough? Looks sure. to me like it would be enough. Okay. And then it says, oh, I forgot to melt the butter. Add melted butter, condensed milk and juice from one lemon to the biscuit mixture. Are we using this high-end lemonade to put in here? Uh, no, just use your lemon juice. We'll use that for, for some other stuff later. Okay. Isn't Gotta you... melt the butter. Do I just put it on for a minute? <laughs> no, not a minute. <laughs> you don't want to cook the butter, you just want to melt it. Well, how much is melted butter take? 
We'll soon find out, won't we? Maybe you should check on it periodically. <laughs> 20 seconds? Yeah, you might want to look at it. What it's is it? still hard. <laughs> All right, so more than 20 seconds then. A lot more than 20 seconds. I reckon a minute's gonna do it. Stop filming me. <laughs> so, what happened with your microwave and your butter that wasn't made of thing? Nothing. It's perfect. <laughs> sure, sure it is. Look, it's perfectly melted now. Don't worry about it. Someone had the bubbling. microwave set on a low setting, didn't they? And now it's melted perfectly. What do you reckon, boss? What's going on, mate? Oh, what do you want to say about this? What do you want to tell everyone? Hey? What's going on? Ah, oh, you're just tired. Um, add the melted butter, condensed milk and juice. I'm a bit dubious about this. Uh, for the people that are watching, what does dubious mean? Well, let me explain. Because it's feeds for fuck all, you made us get the Coles brand condensed milk. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, everyone knows that you need to get the Nestle brand condensed milk. Never heard of it. All right, so this thing says add melted butter, condensed milk, and juice from one lemon to this mixture. Just out of curiosity, what does the ingredients on the sweetened condensed milk say? Milk and sugar. So the Nestle one's going to be better because... It's got better milk and better sugar in it. <laughs> Just shush. <sighs> this is three quarters of this cup. So I'm just going to guess because I don't know where our three quarter thing is. Does that kind of look like three quarters? Plus to me, you get a spoon to scrape the rest of it out when you put it in your mix? Not really. Is that what the recipe says? You mix it all the... All the is this the base or something? The recipe just says whack all of this stuff into here. This is heaps easier than when I made that bread. Well, clearly, I knew that. That's why you're making me make this instead of you try and make it because you think that I might actually have the skills <laughs> to mix some things in a bowl. We'll soon find out. I wouldn't be sad that I have those skills. What happens now? <laughs> Just put some lemon juice in here and don't spray it on the condensed milk because it goes everywhere. So maybe just put some drops around there. Yeah, otherwise it uh, spurts out everywhere, doesn't it? Yes. And then um, I need to add them together and mix until thoroughly combined. Maybe you should use a wooden spoon. No. I've already got this one you ready. You've got more leverage because you've got more length on the wooden spoon. It doesn't seem to be combining very easily. Is that what it's actually supposed to look like? Don't know, I've never done it. But you're the one who said that you really like this apparent lemon coconut thing. <laughs> doesn't mean I've ever made it. Is it very well, have big you difference? eaten it before? Does it look like this? I've never eaten this before. I think so. I think when you press it into your little tin, then it sets. So at the moment, it does look right. So I just dump it all in here. I don't know. You read the recipe. What you does it say? Press into here. Can you do it safely, please? <sighs> Prefer to not. these rules that you have. Well, I don't want that dog to eat all the stuff. <laughs> he eats enough food as it is. He would love that. How's your pressing technique? Oh, it's on point. Look at it. Why aren't you using your hands? Because it says to use the back of the spoon. I read the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I no need, well, you no need were to very have a... critical of me before for no. not reading the recipe. Come on, mate. No need to have an read, attitude like that. Read ahead, you tell me. <laughs> read ahead. Oh, good to know you're learning. I'm not sure that this is how it's supposed to be, by the way. It looks a bit weird. It's a bit hard to get um, Looks alright to me. Flat. Is it supposed to be kind of flat? It's not going to be like spirit level flat, no. Well, I'm used to building and everything needs to be spirit level no, do flat. Do it more by feel when you cook. 
It's fine. Really? Yeah. But isn't baking, isn't that where you're supposed to be exact with measurements? Otherwise, things can go very wrong. Yeah, well, that makes, it more, that makes it more exciting. You're always living on the edge, aren't you? Yeah. Living on the edge of my lockdown <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> so, do I just put this in the fridge now? I thought you read ahead. Yes, it says here. <laughs> Well, why are you asking me? Place it in the fridge. I'm placing in the fridge, and then apparently I've got to make some icing stuff for this. All right, we'll put it. Put it. The, in the zest. I can see a piece of zest. Is that supposed well, to? It's better than a piece of biscuit that we found oh. before. Oh. <laughs> Shush. So I've refused to keep going to make the icing until I get a cocktail. Because Saturdays are for cocktails. Yes. Yes. What are you making here? So we're making a Cuban cigar. No, not cigar. Sidecar. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> how much alcohol have you already had? <laughs> Actually, none. <laughs> what are you doing there? All right, so you meant to actually have lime juice, but, you know, we're in lockdown and we can only get so many things to the house, so we only have the lemons off our tree. So we're going to use a bit of uh, normal lemon juice. And we'll mix it with some store-bought stuff. Because they're lemonades from our tree. Yeah, so a little bit sweeter. So first thing, want some ice in your cocktail mixer. And then this recipe, if you're making it for yourself, all you want is a shot of Bacardi. So a shot of white rum, a shot of Contro, and a shot of lemon juice. So obviously we're making for two, so we're going to double up on that. One. Don't worry if you over pour, just make sure you try and get in the glass. You have a habit of over pouring and you have a habit of just pouring it everywhere by the looks of it. In contra, gives it that, that orangey, citrusy flavour. One. Do you really need two for contro as well? Yeah, it's one each. So two or both. Bit of it. What happened to the lemons on our tree? We used them and gave them away. Yeah. All right, now chuck your lid on. You want to shake it for a good 30 seconds. Now the lid's on, you want to shake it for a good 30 seconds. All right, shook everything up. Make sure you pour yourself a generous pearl because you know, you made it. Don't want to share too much. Or you can try and, you know, make it pretty even between the two of them. Now for garnish, you meant to actually use lime, but as we said, we don't have it. So this is what we got. The nice refreshing cocktail for coming in the spring and summer when everyone can get together. Hopefully when we're not locked down. Are you going to taste test? No, I've had this plenty of times. I know it's fine. Cheers. <sighs> Refreshing. It's important to have a drink first. What's going on with the Great Tower of Butter over here? Well, it says in a bowl with the icing sugar, room temperature butter, and extra lemon juice in a bowl until creamy and frosting like. Right, but it gets creamy and frosting like. Soon we might find out. Are you supposed to? Is this supposed to be like cut or just in massive big clumps like that? Probably is if it's cut off, you're gonna whisk it. We'll come back soon when you start the other part. Yeah. Uh oh. I don't know what's, what's going on. Well, I think I'm gonna be short. Short on what? This stuff. Icing sugar. Oh no, maybe yeah. I won't be. How much do you need? Three. Oh, 
three cups, it oh. seems like a lot. Looks like you're going to be perfect. Oh, perfect. That wasn't a leveled cup. You know how I was talking about feeling? The one That's... before wasn't level because I thought I was going to be sure. You don't have to be that even, you just got to enjoy yourself. Okay, so that's the icing sugar. And then it says to put five teaspoons, tablespoons, 75 mils. We might be short. We've got more in the cupboard. How much is 75 mils? Do you reckon that's enough? <laughs> Why didn't you measure it? <laughs> you told me to go by feel. Okay, well, my, now... my feel is that wasn't actually enough. You're going to need a little bit more. Is that enough? Probably a little bit more. No, ah, that's too much. You're funny. Now I need to whisk this together, apparently. How's your assistant Imagine dog going? Imagine if I had a tiny whisk right now. No. How you going, mate? I'm not sure any any human can whisk this together. Oh, look at it. What's going on, boss? What would you like to say? You're just hungry, aren't you? Hey. Mm. Oh, what's wrong, mate? <coughs> hey, what's happening? <coughs> you want some food, don't you, mate? You're gonna have to wait, mate. You can't you can't eat lemon slice. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? <laughs> How are you supposed to whisk it together? Not like that, obviously. <laughs> it's probably because you're using this like, like what kind of fucking whisk is this? Well, why not out of the cupboard? You must have bought it. It looks like a whisk to me. If I'm going to buy a whisk, I'm going to make buy one that's made out of like metal, not this plastic bending whisk business. I think you should go back to the drawer and get one of the real whisks out. So what's going on here? Well, I'm not really sure. I'm just trying to get all of this stuff. Did you cut the whisk? <laughs> you told me that I had to cut it out. <laughs> no, like the ingredients, not the whisk. Lucky you got this bit out of there. I don't want to eat that later. Oh, shush. Why? As you can see, we've got a real, you know, stock standard whisk over here, not this fancy whatever this is. Why didn't so you tell soon, me that I needed to not use this? Soon. See this? Here we go. See it? Yep. That's the one you're going to use. Well, please tell me these things before I start. You had an option. Like, you went to the drawer <laughs> and you had the option of a real whisk or whatever this fucking thing is. Yes, but you've got all the rest of these things out already for me. <laughs> Why didn't I get a whisk already? Oh, we'll keep going and see how we go. <laughs> Was that your test to make sure this one's durable? Yes. I should have tested the other one. I still don't think this is how it's meant to be. And when you whisk, you should always hold the bowl like on a on an angle, yeah. But it's not even going anywhere. Yeah, it'll fall out as you keep doing that. As it... oh, oh, you said this one was oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it's dead. I don't think we know how to whisk. <laughs> So if I eat it later and I feel like I've got, I don't know. Metal and plastic in, yes. Were well, you supposed to have hard machinery to do this or something? Back in the day, they didn't have any of that. There's no electricity, you just used your hands. Did they you're... make lemon slice back in the day? I'm sure they did. It looks like you're, you know, you're getting there. Just, if that part of the whisk falls off, just make sure that you... I'm wearing my safety glasses. <laughs> Gotta have a rest. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really worried about your eyes. I'm worried about me eating it later and copping a spike into my intestines. It's alright. So if we can just, you know, be a good sport and make sure that that doesn't fall in the mix. So what's, what's meant to happen next? This has to go on there. Seems like a pretty easy step to follow. <laughs> Whisking seems like a pretty easy step. <laughs> we all know how that turns Most out. people don't break two whisks <laughs> when they're trying to just do this one recipe. Well, I'm clearly... You know how you were saying about, like, I got you the utensils and stuff? I actually got you those things there to make this whole process easier. Is that what I'm supposed to be using now? Well, yeah, because then you can get it all off your whisk and then you can get it all out of the bowl at once.
I don't know how you're supposed to actually get all of this goodness. Look at how bad you broke that whisk. <laughs> <clears throat> meant, to be do, meant to be doing meals and stuff and, you know, cooking that's meant to be cheap, but you've broken two utensils mm -hmm. in the space of making one cheap meal. I don't know if that's really... <laughs> You've blown the budget on this one, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just put that straight in there. Right? Show everyone how much uh, more icing you've got left in that bowl. Not a huge amount. Alright. Well, we'll wait for it to be all spread out and then we'll show you the end of it. What do you call this technique? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> Please help get to the sides. <laughs> it's not very good. Is this the right spatula thing that I'm supposed to be using? Look, when it comes to cooking, you use whatever gets the job done, even if that means using two whisks. <laughs> but how do people get these things where they get them, you know, smooth on the top? Well, I'm sure that most people that make this sort of stuff, it's, you know, experience. They've done it more than once is probably a good indicator, <laughs> to be honest. That yes, but too... you're supposed to be my teacher and you haven't taught me how to do. Well, I would say that you're basically doomed. <laughs> <laughs> if you're my teacher. That looked good, whatever you did there. It was very straight, good lines. Yeah, I'm trying to, because otherwise you don't, you need to have it like this, as in flat, otherwise, Otherwise, someone will get a big chunk of icing. Yeah. Some people might like that, though. Well, it's only you and me. <laughs> Clearly, you would never, ever feed any of my cooking to any of our friends. <laughs> Lucky we're in lockdown, so that can't ever actually happen. Well, the other thing is, though, you remember, like, some people like that look of knowing that it's homemade. I mean, this definitely, <laughs> definitely has that look. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I, I'm just saying that, you know, it looks homemade. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. Are you trying to say that I don't know how to do anything? No, that's, that's I did not say that. I think that so, this actually doesn't look too bad. No, it looks pretty good. So what oh. happens after this? Um, refrigerate. Oh, yeah? And then I assume that you'll cut it for me because that would involve knives, <laughs> so... <laughs> all right, well, we'll do that and then we'll keep it refrigerated for a little while and we'll show you how it turns out later on. Get this lawn. Oh, did you um forget the garnish? Yeah, and so I didn't really need to make this as perfect as I have. <laughs> so, what are you sprinkling on the top there? More coconut. What would be a good alternative that you could sprinkle on if you didn't have coconut? Lemon zest. I don't really know. Yeah, I wouldn't put lemon zest in that sort of quantity on there, it'd take half a day to do it. I don't so, know what else would you put on here. Uh, you do chocolate or chocolate sprinkles, whatever you want. Although chocolate sprinkles and lemon might be a bit weird. Toasted coconut? <laughs> it's basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll be back soon to show you what the finished result looks like. Well. Oh no. What are you trying to do here? I was going to try and take it out to make it easier to cut. But it doesn't seem... Oh no, you got... there we go. Pop. Success! Do you reckon it turned out alright? Well, I don't know. Does it look alright? Well, the whole base of it all looks together still, so not well, bad. Not bad. Good size. You've allowed me this mini knife, so that hopefully I don't cut myself, but I'm not really sure. How are you supposed to cut it? Do I just go like this? Yeah, just go like that. Yeah. Now, the, the trick is, does it stay... Not the whole thing, but cut cut like a normal size slice at the end. Like this? Yep. Did your base stay together? Better pick it up and show the cam camera. Oh, look at that. Pretty good. How do you feel? I feel great that I could make something <laughs> that was like four ingredients in a bowl. Got to start somewhere. Why didn't I get to start with this one before instead of having to have that really hard high-end cake where I had to put things in food processors? There's um, your slice. Looks good. I'll try it very shortly. Please enjoy.
Success. What else? What have you got to tell everyone to do? I don't know. Like and subscribe. Oh, <laughs> like and subscribe to my epic success of a slice making. And let's see, maybe next weekend we can bring you another no-bake five-ingredient slice because I might be able to do that and this time not break a whisk. Cheers, mates.